Good morning and welcome back to subsistence. It's really early, not even dawn yet. Got a wolf coming after us there. Um, yes, I've just gone down to grab a bit of water, so let's drop that in there. I've got a few materials put to one side here. I'm going to craft something up in a second. And I'm just keeping the power topped up and just used a bunch of medicinal herbs um, from the garden. We've just harvested the garden to um, craft a, uh, a bunch of biofuel basically. Um, I spent the day yesterday gathering some wood and also killing a few wolves and a bear um, to get the fat. So we're kind of starting to build this back up again. It's not too healthy, but we'll get it. We'll get it there. Uh, let's swap this water over before we do anything else. Lovely. And pop those away. Oops. Okay, so the plan today is um, I would love to make the diving station. So I think I've got everything I need. Let's just take a look at what it costs. I think I've got it right. Uh, so diving station needs 1200 power, well we've got plenty of that, and the 200 mass I uh, dipped into my extra stack of we weapon parts, um, recycled about half of them, and I recycled about 40 odd wood to go with. Um, I've still got 200 wood in the chest, which is awesome, I'm really pleased with that. Um, so yeah, we've got the mass. Let's get the diving station built. And that's a really, that's a really good thing to, uh, to get done. I'm quite happy to get that crafted. Right, I think we can afford to turn the lights off. I think it's bright enough now. Oh, and I've built a, um, a light as well in this room here. So at least we can kind of see when we're doing something in here. And I'm thinking of putting the diving station on this wall here. Um, you know, I'm not using that area for anything else, and I think in here it's a little bit crowded, so let's grab the, uh, yep, grab the diving station and we'll pop it down here. And let's hope that the VCU reaches this far, it should do, because I've put the light there, but let's just double check. Yeah, this is going to be great here. It'll be out the way, um, won't get damaged, I don't think. And there's plenty of room to sort of just let it do its thing, it's not going to be cramped up. So I think about that. Very nice. That looks so cool. Let's put that down here and we'll just take a closer look. Look at that. It's a really nice looking thing. Right, okay, to open up them, we're going to need to craft some diving gear. Uh, two alloy sheets, three rope, well that's not going to be a problem, and five padded cloth, um, along with some mass. So that's definitely achievable. Um, oh, we can't upgrade the efficiency on this until we go diving, which is kind of weird. And then for oxygen tanks, we're going to need zinc and cordage. So, let's have a look. So, five padded cloth, two alloy sheets, and three rope. Uh, yep, yeah, we've got the sheets. Um, we've got the rope. Let's grab and make another let's make that'll be one for that one and i want to make two spare um just so that we've got some okay so that's good um let's pop that back down there and i've forgotten what else it needed actually i think we've got everything anyway but five padded cloth right okay let's have a look at that I don't think I've got any paddy cloth in here, but we do have cotton and cloth. So let's just have a look. I think I need some feathers and I need five paddy cloth. Actually, that is quite interesting. We've um, feathers, I'm short of, more than anything. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, we did that quite easily in the big scheme of things, not too bad at all. So there's our um, ingredients for the diving gear. Now I can't remember if that takes power and mass to craft as well, once you've got this in place. Yeah, it does, 120 mass, okay. 
So when we get back later, uh, we should be able to craft our diving gear. And I probably just want to put some zinc on to refine. And we'll, uh, we'll leave that sort of going today. So let's see. If I just turn that on for a second. Let's do 10. And we'll split that in half and we'll drop those in as we leave the, uh, the base today. So we've got two more paddy cloth and then we can sort of head out and have a, a good day's looting. That's pretty cool. Nice. I think that's a great spot for it. I might put a chest down, um, down here for the uh, air tanks and stuff. That kind of makes it a nice purpose, uh, pur purpose built area then. That's my diving, diving room. Okay, let's put the cloth away. Um, we'll have the berries and we need just something small protein wise um, and then we can get going. And we'll get out there and we'll do some looting. Uh, wow, we've got 190 potassium. I mean we've, we've still got some, some zinc so we're not short but um, I do think it would probably be good to get some iron and stuff today so let's do that one two three four of those um four scrap and what two cordage cool right let's make a pickaxe then and we've got a spare we've still got quite a bit left on this one so we're not going to be uh, in too much trouble and yeah we're not we're not really very hungry but i've eaten the liver just to uh liver and onions just to bring my wellness back up and yep that's generator is on so let's get out there that's awesome making progress quite pleased um so where should we go um which direction should we head towards the new area i don't think i'm really going to do sort of too much you know trying to get over there and creating a base just yet i think we need to do a little bit of diving make some progress on that front first um, well I don't know see how I feel really I'm not a massive fan of the diving if I'm honest um, it's been very well implemented but I um, I prefer running around in in this environment right let's grab this um, I'm kind of getting um, rabbits and things just recently, mainly because I've been quite enjoying, whoops, damn it, I was going to say, I've been enjoying using the bow in the single, uh, in the co-op game, um, and I'm actually a little bit out of practice. Um, where did that rabbit go? I feel like I should get in there because he escaped. There he is. Come back, rabbit. There we go. Okay, nice. So maybe we'll get a few small animals and just loot and have a look around. And if we run into a lock crate, then that's awesome. Kind of want that uh, fibre. Are you coming down here? Okay, we'll go this way. Any ore on this rock? I kind of forgot to look. Not seeing any on any of these. Okay, we'll grab you. There's a chicken. Because we need feathers. Whoa, that was a over his head shot, wasn't it? Oh, and that one too. Oh my goodness. To be fair, he, he, that is very difficult to see. And that one's broke. Well... Not very good, really. I bet my arrows are somewhere over here. What are you, a level 3 bear? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go near a level 3 bear just for a chicken. Whoops. Okay. Nice. Got the fibre as well. Oh, and there's a wolf. Now we could take the, uh, the wolf out and continue on our quest for biofuel but I think we're okay 
the main power requirement that we had was for um, for the dive-in station so now that we've got that sort of built and out of the way it shouldn't be too too bad and too difficult to build all of that power back up again I'm pretty sure I just heard the cougar there could be could be imagining it though with uh, me thinking it's going to be round round up here somewhere oh uh, okay thought I saw something there couldn't have done I'm glad we've got all of the materials for the the tanks and everything though as well so that's just a matter of coming back once the um, the mass is built back up again and we've still got some wood that we can use for recycling okay this is a bit of an, an empty area really not somewhere I come very often and I think the game spawns all of the loot in the areas that you kind of tend to frequent so if you haven't been somewhere for a while it does tend to sort of be empty until the second loot of the day it kind of triggers at that point and kicks in a little bit so let's grab this iron I'll have that I'm definitely happy to see that we have got no raw iron at all unrefined that is we do have iron fragments but not much okay let's uh, continue around here be nice if we could find a lock crate we'll see how we go um, am I doing okay for food and stuff yeah not too bad must remember to keep an eye on that And also look out for uh, rogues. And there's a bear. It's been a while since we've run into any rogues in the world, so I wouldn't be surprised if we stumble on some today. And I've got to keep an eye out for the cougar as well, because the cougar could be around here. Let's have a look up here. Not empty of all, oh, empty of everything. Not a single thing I can see inside. It does make you wonder about that sort of loot spawn system sometimes. Whether it's worth just sticking to a regular route, um, and at least then you're kind of guaranteed there's a, there's going to be some loot spawning in. It's a bit hit and miss otherwise. But we've got the uh, stamina. And we'll have that. And there's a bear and another crate here. Right, looks like it's maybe the half half day spawning. So let's see what we can find up here. Um, okay, empty pretty much, crate up here, wolf up ahead and there's a carrot or a carrot seed just in front of me. Okay, let's just have a, a little look above, well there's a wolf, okay, just above here. I'm pretty sure the lock crates normally spawn down there by the tree, but just in case. Okay, well there's a bit of iron, we'll go for that. No, that's zinc. I don't want zinc. I've got lots of uh, unrefined zinc. Well, uh, quite, quite a bit, not lots. We're not doing too bad. 
Okay, let's uh, grab the shotgun. Um, right, there's a rabbit just here. I want to fill up my in inventory with um, small animals, but I do need to replenish this cloth. Um, and that's why I've been getting a couple of chickens and the feathers and the cloth, you know, just to try and stock back up again. There's a crate there, but the wolf's kind of in the way. I guess we could head along this way. This is cougar territory. Uh, and usually there's, you know, a fair bit of good ore on here. Not today. To be fair, I haven't been across here for a little while, so... Again. Maybe the loot isn't spawning in just yet. What are you? You're scrap. Well, there's a wolf approaching there. There's a berry. We'll always take the berry. There's a bear down there. Okay. Um, we'll grab you. Let's look up here then. Yep, chicken, you're fine, chicken. So we get a good view up here of the new area now. And there's the birch forest. It's gorgeous, that area is. Well, I know there's a really good, and it seems like a reliable loot, uh, lot crate spawn in that birch area. Shall we head over there and just take a quick look? Um, I don't know whether there'll be a uh, a lot crate in there right now, but you know, let's chance it, and it's not far to uh, to run over here. Oh, there's the awesome Russell. I do love this area. Um, right, we'll grab this crate, why not? Um, let's have uh, a berry. I'll try and keep as much stuff as I can. If we do find a lot crate, we're going to be struggling for space. But the good thing is, some of this stuff is so cheap, I can just afford to, uh, to throw some of it away. This is a nice little... I like this. It's kind of gully. Okay. Really is quite an extensive area if you um if you really have a good look around. I might uh, definitely have to get on with building that cougar cabin over in this area because I mean just look at it. Sorry, I've just got to. Yep, just got to run under the falls. I should, in theory, be wet now, so the game should be shouting at me. Anyway, we're, we're okay. Right, let's. Um, are you iron? If you're iron, I'm going to try and get you. Let's see. It looks like iron, doesn't it? Um, I'm not sure that we can reach that. Uh, let's try the old... Yeah, jump. Hit and jump. So, hit and jump. Oh dear. There we go. One more. Uh, I'm all over the place today, it feels. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do then is just have a quick look around this birch forest and then we'll run back, you know, over towards home. But look at this in the nice weather. Isn't it the prettiest area? 
So where we found the lock crates in the co-op game is sort of at the base of the, the birch trees, right on the edge of the area. Um, it was uh, it was dark when I was looking for one. Um, by the time I got back, made the lock pick um, and came back for it, you know, it was it was too dark to find. But I did find it in the next morning, which was quite good. Um, but let's have a look for it now. Oh, I nearly ran past a berry because I was looking for lock crates. Okay, what's that up there? Well, let's just check all of these out first. I'm still trying to get a pinpoint on exactly where it spawns. So we've got a wolf over there. There is a crate here. Let's see. Well, it's not a locked crate. Um, so this is the extent of the area. But it's such a pretty area, I really like this. I like the dappled shade. It's so nice. Um, okay. Absolutely gorgeous. Imagine when the, the whole thing is opened up. That's going to be huge. It already is, but be spoilt for choice. It's amazing how well the game runs with all of this space to explore. And the fact that you can build everywhere on the map is something else. I mean, you know, you're not limited to a certain zone or anything. really pretty awesome aha uh -huh. we'll have for you thank you all right good stuff for you no I uh, well we we haven't seen any sign of any lock crates but we'll run back because we've been in here a little while sometimes as I say the afternoon spawn kicks in things appear that weren't there before behind you um, so it's worth just sort of doubling back sometimes and then we'll um, we'll head towards home. And I think we've got enough, we've got plenty of time. Let's have a protein bar. Look at this lovely area. Especially on a day like this, nice weather. It just looks so inviting. Well, we're in uh, June right now. So I've got my year running just a little bit quicker, maybe than I want it to. Um, I might knock it, um, knock the settings um, out a little bit more. So I've got a little bit more time. But uh, I am ready for winter, so there's no reason why I need to um, give myself extra extra time to do anything oh it really is lovely running around here really relaxing um, okay well I think I've given this area a really good search and I'm not seeing a lot crate at the moment but I I think the area just here where I am now is a spawn. It's somewhere like, you know, here, somewhere, at the base of these trees, just at the top, that's where I found one. But it's just finding these new spawn locations and uh, coming back to them when you think there might have been a spawning. There's a couple of crates here. Let's just grab these before we leave. Yeah, I thought I... It's you in front of me, isn't it? Yeah. You stay over there, fella. You stay over there. I'll stay over here. We'll all be happy. There we go. 
getting some decent loot, not too bad. Oh, let's just look over here. I don't know whether I look this far. No, okay. All right then, we better start heading back. And we might run into one on the way back, you never know. But we do have to run through, of course, the cougar area. And look at that double iron on the rock there. Oh, that's so tempting. It's a level one. Um, I'm almost tempted to just go for that bear. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, blimey. They still scare me. Because they can break your leg and then you're kind of in trouble. I didn't bring any water with me. Oh, we can wash our hands. In the river, that won't be a problem, but I can't leave double iron behind. No, nope, definitely not. We need this. Nice, okay. We'll go past the falls. Because that area is just so pretty. There's another berry. I love looking for those berries. It's much more difficult now with these bushes. Before, the berries sort of stood out, you know, really clearly in the new area and the old area, but now those bushes make it very difficult. Right, we'll grab you. Let's head up here a little bit. Oh no, there's a bear. Well, let's just look what's down here, because... Okay. Yep, okay. Now we should be able to wash hands somewhere up here, I would imagine. Yep, very cool. Wow, look at this. Let's look from here. What a view. What a place to build, maybe. My goodness. That is incredible. Um, let's face that way. And I guess we could crouch. Um, maybe that? Might make a nice uh, screenshot. I'll grab another one. Don't want to kind of hang around here too long. We've got to get back. We're quite away. Right, so we've got a wolf. We've got to be careful because we can't jump off cliffs here, so... And uh, I need to kind of make a beeline for my base while avoiding, you know, falling to my death. And cougars. And this wolf's going to really pester me, isn't it? Well, we're already back to an area we know. Hopefully the wolf will bugger off in a second. Yeah, I think it's let us go now. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Let's run along here then. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. We'll take the slightly lower route, um, just because I found lock crates on this path here before. Um, now we're running out of stamina, what are we short of? I'll have a berry water. can't believe I forgot to bring water with me, that's unusual. Uh, right, good, let's head home then. And here's a lock crate. Oh well, that's pretty good. Right, let's see what we need to get rid of to carry this lock crate home. Uh, that's useful. A bit of glass, okay. Uh, oh, nice. That's quite handy, isn't it? Um, I do need to get rid of some stuff, though. I'm going to have to do that. Nice. That was pretty good. Right, let's get beeline for home now. I would have rather kept those vegetables, but I am... Um, yeah, there's some iron up there. I'm not going to stop. I want to make sure I can just get home nice and safely now. Gosh, I really do feel like I've um, 
I don't know, a bit out of sorts today, a bit out of practice maybe, or a bit used to sort of playing co-op. I don't know, I was the same at the weekend actually in the co-op game. Um, we restarted. Um, so uh, just to relocate in the new area, because obviously everybody wants to build in, in the new area. And um, for some reason, for the life of me, I couldn't wear, work out where I was on the map. Well, I, I knew where I was, but to get to the new area, I couldn't put it together in my head which direction I needed to head in. Obviously, you can just head south um, and you'll get there. But I went a bit of a, a sort of a loop around the, um, around the houses, really. It's uh, really strange. And today I don't think I'm quite with it. I think I'm tired, so... But we'll, uh, we'll get home. Get all this stuff cooking. Hopefully my fire hasn't gone out. It doesn't sound too good at the moment. Yeah, I think the fire's gone out. Oh well, okay. We've got plenty of matches. Let's, oh gosh, right, um, we'll do that and ignite and let's take one of you out. I'm just going to pop that in there for now and we've got a lot of food here. Um, let's put some stuff away. Um, wrong one really. Let's do that, that, that. Um, we've got you, we've got some cloth. That was a really decent lot crate actually, not too bad at all. And glass. No, we've got no room for glass. Um, what should we do here? What could I move? I guess I could move out. Well, we'll see. I might have to move some other stuff. Right, we'll put the planks away anyway. And let's split this in half and we'll get this refining. Good amount of uh, iron there. Nice, we've got 69 um, iron fragments, which is alright, not too bad at all. And, yep, sorry, that is the one I want to put those away in. Right, let's butcher. Do all of those animals, at least then we can put those away. And I think the rest of the stuff I'm just going to put in the fridge. So this is um, the results of the hunting I did the other day as well. Uh, okay, good. And we'll grab you, and I'm going to eat that liver now. And we'll have a berry. And I guess I could have a water as well. Nice. Gosh, I shouldn't have the uh, flashlight on in here. There we go. Okay, good. Um, let's put the seeds away. And we will uh, do the garden. Oh, we've got some medicinal herbs here that are ready. I think I've got a couple of medicinal seeds left. I'm just going to replant because um, I'm, not, I'm not short on tomatoes. And we've got a bed of potatoes here anyway. Uh, let's pop some water in there. And you need fertiliser and water. I'm going to have to run down and get some water from the stream. And there we go. Right, lovely. So we've got 24. So I'm going to make another batch of biofuel out of there. That was only three, don't forget. I'd already harvested a lot of the um, medicinal herbs. Let's make a little bit more. Nice. Uh, we could pop you in there. We've got our pickaxe. That's okay. And I just need somewhere to put that glass. Right, okay, what do we need to do now? Let's take a look. Diving gear. Gosh, I, I really am all over the place today, I do apologise. Okay, we need to make this. So we've, we're 20 mass short, that will be no problem. Five padded cloth, two aloe sheets, three rope. Let's do this. That will clear up a bit of room here for me to put the glass away. There we go. Um, two of you and three row and then we need 20 mass um, 
We could use 20 wood for that. Why not? Nice and easy. Uh, no. Recycle it first. Gosh, it was a good job. I, I really am not concentrating. If I did drag three rope in there, oh my gosh. Right, let's have a look in here now. Diving gear. Yes, craft please. Nice, okay, good stuff. God, thank goodness I did that properly. Alright, we'll put that in there. Have we got any fat in here? We do. I'll grab the ash while we're in there. Okay, turn you on. And I might just grab a little bit more and just stop you up completely. Why are you growling at me? This is my base. When they do that, you think they're actually inside. It's feels like they're right here. Mm, okay. Right, I need a chest. Um, so let's grab you, you, you. We'll get a storage crate going. And that's going to be for the diving gear. grow and uh, get some water shortly. Oh, I should really um, check. I've got my uh, flashlight on so I can use this. should really check this cotton. Yeah, it's kind of growing away. It's very slow, but I'm really not in a rush for this at all, so I don't mind that that's barely, barely growing. It's definitely quicker under glass in here, it seems to me, anyway. Hmm. Right, okay. Um, chest. Yes, we've got it ready. Let's get that placed. And we'll just put it under here. It's not in the way there. And it will store all of our uh, diving equipment. Let's get it closer to the wall. Uh, that's not bad. Oh, I'm just lining up with the floor. There we go. Right, we should have our diving gear. Very cool. Um, we could pop that on, I guess, and we'll take a look. There we go. Nice. Um, okay, let's pop that away in the chest, because we, uh, we definitely don't need that at the moment. And we'll uh, make some tanks. Uh, we need mass for that, so we'll have to leave the, uh, the mass to um, climb. We're going to need eight and two, and I want to make quite a few. So, yeah, let's, let's see. If I leave the bits and pieces in here, uh, um, so that's enough for two. I think that's right. If I leave those pieces here and then we'll, uh, we'll use, oh, what did I do? Oh dear, there we go. 23, that doesn't look right. 32, that's the one I want. That's the stacker that I want. Oh dear, right. 32. Let's see, oxygen tank. Um, eight. Yep, 32 and two fourths, uh, 16, no. Is it two or eight? I've got eight on me, that's right. Two, four, six, eight, that's fine. Oh, ignore me, please. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea, I think, after this. Oh, turn that light off. And we'll turn you off. And you too. And how are you coming along? Wow, that seemed to be very quick. Right, okay. Let's grab a bit of water. And then we can pop that on the fire, and I think that's where we'll uh, we'll call it an episode. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw something out the corner of my eye there. Excellent. Well, not a bad day. I, um, yeah, I've not been really been quite on top of it, to be honest. Um, I am a little bit overtired. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness me. 
So, uh, yeah, that's definitely where I'm going to leave this one. And um, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.